Hey filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today we, I'm going to answer the question that comes up every single year when Blackmagic does a new version of Resolve, and that's can you run the new beta version alongside the old version? The answer is yes. Is it supported? No. Is it recommended by Blackmagic? No. Can it be done? Absolutely. I have done this <laughs> with 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, and it's super simple. All we're going to do is rename the original directory and install the new version. Let's walk through it on a Mac. I'm sure it's similar on a Windows machine, but I'm just going to show you that it actually works. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to run DaVinci Resolve 17. We're going to let this go ahead and load up here and go to this icon up here, which will show your databases. Make sure you have your database selected. We're going to go to backup and I'm just going to do this on the desktop for right now. Resolve backup and save it, back up the database, database backup is successful. Now we're going to quit DaVinci Resolve. We're going to come over here to DaVinci Resolve folder and rename it DaVinci Resolve 17. Now I'm going to go to my downloads folder, unzip that, mount it up here and install 18. Okay, so it's all pretty straightforward. Basically, you're gonna rename Resolve, DaVinci Resolve folder, install 18. It's gonna install in the DaVinci Resolve folder now. So now we have both of them running and pretty simple. Now what's going to happen is when we run Resolve 18, it's going to update the Resolve 17 database. So that's why we made a backup of it first. So we're going to go ahead and launch 18. Okay, upgrade the project library. Yes, we want to upgrade the project library. Okay, now our library is within 18. Great. Let's go ahead and quit 18. We'll go back to 17. We'll relaunch 17. Now we're going to restore our backup that we made. Make sure we're in the right one. And we'll call this Resolve 17. Let's find a good place to put it. We'll go to our documents. And I'm going to call this Resolve 17 so it's easy for me to find it later and we'll create this new database. Database has been restored. Boom, there it is. We can close this and voila, we have 17 and 18 running side by side. Okay, pretty simple, right? Um, I, I mean, it's, it's just logical that it would work. I have never had a problem. There's no conflicts. I've never ever had an issue. And I do not currently have an issue doing this with 17 and 18. I go back and forth all the time, never had a problem. Am I gonna guarantee you're not gonna have a problem? Nope. <laughs> As I said, this is an unsupported way of doing this. Black Magic says they don't recommend it, but I've never had an issue and I do not have an issue now. Both versions run fine. I can do my production with 17. I can do my testing with 18 and just 
it just works. Now you might get confused if you have a shortcut icon, you know, on a Mac because it you will usually go to whatever one that one was installed in. So it's best to just open up the applications folder, select the right one and go from there. But it does work. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.